All right, let's get straight to it. No fluff. Is Pi Network a scam? This is the big question that's hung over the Pi community since day one. And five years later, we're still debating. With no open trading, no big transactions, and a closed network, people are starting to wonder if Pi is all talk or if there's something genuinely revolutionary brewing beneath the surface. Today, we're diving deep to separate the facts from the rumors and uncover what's really going on with Pi Network in 2024. Is this project about to change the financial game, or are we just endlessly waiting for something that may never come? Stick around because we're answering all the burning questions and looking at what this year could mean for the Pi community. But first, let's hear from you. Do you think Pi Network has what it takes to make it big, or is it just hype? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to Pi Network, check out my previous videos to catch up on the latest developments. The link's in the description below. And while you're at it, drop a Pi Network to the moon, along with your country's name in the comments below. Let's see where all our fellow pioneers are tuning in from. If you're excited about Pi's potential, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps us bring you more updates, insights, and the latest on Pi Network, and we appreciate all the support you give us. Remember, this video is for entertainment purposes only and is not investment advice. Let's get started. Some people are confident in their scam stance, and let's be real, they're not out of line. When you've been waiting for something to launch for years, and you still can't buy a cup of coffee with it, well, the doubts start stacking up. Those outside looking in see Pi Network as more talk than action. And honestly, the proof is in the pudding, or lack of it. No big milestones hit, no worldwide presence. Just this lingering, we're close but not quite there vibe that's starting to feel like an endless waiting room. Many of us joined Pi because we thought it would be like other crypto projects, where you can mine, trade, and potentially cash out big when the market's right. But, in Pi's case, there are no exchanges listing it, no coins to trade, and a closed network that restricts transactions. Pi tokens remain in users' wallets with no true utility and people are left scratching their heads. That's enough to make anyone skeptical, wondering if they've just been clicking away on an app for the last few years for nothing. So, what's the deal? Is Pi Network just stringing people along, or is there something real here? As we dig deeper, let's talk about those who came with one goal in mind. Rewards. In other crypto ecosystems, people earn tokens and sell them when the market's hot, then they move on. But Pi? It keeps these coins untradeable and unlisted, and even the early users who manage to get coins are left with something they can't use. Pi's terms prohibit any trading and restrict exchange listings, which has led some to feel used, like the project is simply gathering more eyes and ad revenue as it continues on its slow burn. This frustration isn't just a quiet murmur, it's practically a roar in parts of the crypto community. And you know what? We get it. Some people feel strung along by endless promises, especially after half a decade with no tradable assets or signs of market viability. Anti-Pi voices have their place because everyone involved has felt the weight of waiting. Now let me speak to those of us who have stuck around. Many of us have walked this road with Pi Network for five years or more. And guess what? I still haven't seen a single Pi coin in my wallet either. But surprisingly, I'm not angry, not even disappointed. Curious as to why? Let me tell you a story that might put it into perspective. Imagine the US dollar, an icon of power, influence, and yes, control. The dollar's hold on the global economy is nearly absolute. It's a currency that over time has shaped economies and influenced markets worldwide. But look closer, and you'll see it's a system built on control a one-way street of influence where most of the world plays by the rules set by a few. The US dollar through a legacy of agreements like the petrodollar deal controls oil markets and by extension, global trade. Yet every day, that dollar grows weaker. Inflation eats away at its power, and ordinary people bear the brunt. What if, just what if, there was another way? A currency that wasn't just issued by one superpower, but owned and governed by people from all walks of life all over the world, and this is where Pi Network aims to come in. It's more than just a new digital currency. It's a concept of global cooperation and fair access. A revolutionary idea of a payment system for us by us. You see, Pi Network's mission isn't just about creating a cryptocurrency. It's about pioneering a people-owned network where we, the pioneers, create a currency that isn't tied to any single nation or institution, but is a collective effort by everyone involved. And that's where I found my why for being here. It's a vision, a hope, 
a call to step outside the established rules and make something uniquely ours. Is it frustrating to wait and wonder? Yes, but we're part of something that's aiming to break the mold, and that's not something that's going to happen overnight. Building a new financial ecosystem requires patience, and for those who joined this mission, the idea was never about instant rewards. It was about contribution and collective growth. Sure, 99% of the world may still call Pi Network a scam. They'll laugh, shrug it off and move on. But for the 65 million and counting, for those of us pioneering this movement, we're part of something we believe in. A movement that holds the potential to reshape global finance and return control of currency to the people. We're pushing forward with that hope because the future of finance is worth the wait. So, why does 2024 matter so much? Well, two big changes are on the horizon. First, the US is on the verge of another presidential election. Many believe Donald Trump might return to office, bringing a more crypto-positive stance likely fostering an environment where blockchain and decentralized currency systems can thrive. His business-minded approach may help integrate crypto further into the world economy. This could be the nudge Pi Network needs to take off. Second, let's talk about the Petrodollar Agreement of 1974, which forced oil transactions to be conducted in US dollars. That 50-year agreement is set to expire in 2024 and there's a lot of speculation about what will follow. Will we see another agreement with the dollar at its core? Or is this the moment for a new global currency, maybe the BRICS currency or even a blockchain-based solution like Pi, to step up and compete? These are monumental shifts that give Pi Network a rare and timely opportunity to push forward in its revolution. Launching the open mainnet in 2024 isn't just a goal, it's a necessity. Missing this chance could mean Pi Network loses its momentum, its right time to break through, potentially jeopardizing the very vision we all signed up for. This is where we come in, pioneers. The Pi Core team has given us the tools and a clear direction. Participate in Pi Fest, sign up as vendors on the Pi Map, and make the Fireside Forum part of your daily routine. These are small steps, but they're essential to Pi Network's success. By actively contributing, we create the demand, the value, and the community needed for Pi to thrive. Our commitment is what will turn heads and shift skeptics' perceptions. If we do this right, the rest of the world won't just take note. They'll wish they'd been on board from the start. So, yes, to many, Pi Network might look like a scam right now. But for those of us in the trenches, it's more than an app or a token. It's a dream of creating something new, something that belongs to everyone who believes in a decentralized financial future. We're here because we see that potential and we're willing to see it through. The revolution isn't over yet, but every action we take brings us one step closer to proving that Pi Network isn't a scam. It's a vision waiting to be realized. So there you have it. Today we tackled the tough question that's been circling around Pi Network since day one. Is it a scam or something revolutionary in the making? We covered why some remain skeptical after five years with no tradable coins and limited network use, but we also explored Pi's deeper vision, a community-driven, decentralized currency that could disrupt the current financial system as we know it. With major shifts like the US election and the petrodollar agreement's potential expiration in 2024, Pi Network could finally find its moment to break through. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want more updates on Pi Network and its journey, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us keep bringing you the latest insights on Pi Network and beyond. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Do you believe Pi Network has what it takes to succeed, or is it just hype? Drop your answer in the comments below. And if you have any questions or thoughts to add to the conversation, please feel free to share those in the comments as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.